Well ladies, we are here with a heavily requested shoe video. So today's video is all about the latest trends in shoes. These are the shoes that were coming down those runways for fall and winter, and these are the things that we're really going to be looking for in the stores to bring you some of the best and most comfortable and wearable shoes. But today is really about the hottest trends. We want to share with you what is current, what is trending, and then later of course we'll share with you what we're actually going to be wearing but if you want some inspiration, make sure you watch this video. Yeah, and if you are a shoe lover, then make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And while you're down there, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you haven't already. So we come out with two videos every Sunday and Thursday. So if you love fashion, you want to know what the latest trends are, you want to know some style tips and tricks, you want to see some great budget-friendly hauls, then definitely join us every Sunday and Thursday so you don't miss out. So shoe trend number one is coming in hot, and that is clogs. Christina and I fell in love with these last year, and we are so excited to see them back again. But these clogs are coming in all different styles. So we've got everything from like a, a flatter heel to a chunkier like platform heel. We've got studs around the edges. We've got lots of different colors. We're also seeing this clog style shoe that has like a strap on the back for those of you who maybe don't like something that slips off the foot. So they are just so hot and so cute, and I feel like these are really easy to wear with a lot of different things. Everything from those straight leg jeans to those maxi skirts and everything in between, but I am a huge clog lover. Yeah, I completely <laughs> agree, and I also think they are so comfortable. So whenever Kelly and I do share shoes with you, one of the things that always, every single shoe, doesn't matter what style it is, has to have in common, and that is that it has to be comfortable mm -hmm. to wear, and these definitely fit the bill. I also think that they're so cute. I love our pointed toe shoes, but this is a rounded shoe that I absolutely love. And honestly, I try to style it with pretty much everything that I have. Another popular style, and this may be one you've already started to see in the stores because we know that we have, and that is Western style shoes. So this can be everything from a traditional like cowboy style boot that we are seeing to everything like a ankle uh, boot that has like those Western inspired features to them, a little bit of slouchy detail or maybe some of the um, detail designs that are on some of these pointier kind of Western style boots. So this is one that I think is really fun. I love it. I love, I used to live in Tennessee for a while. So of course I feel like I'm, you know, getting connected with some of my roots. So I think this is super cute, whether you are styling it with like cute little, uh, flowy type of skirt and some Western style boots or a dress. It doesn't always have to be with a pair of jeans. Yeah, and I am a total wannabe country girl because I love country music and I love this vibe. And when I went to Nashville for a trip, I wanted cowgirl boots so bad and I never grabbed a pair and now I'm regretting it because of course they're super on trend, but I will definitely be looking for a great pair. This is such a cute style. I feel like it could really work with like those maxi skirts that we talked about or a little like mini or midi dress or something. Could also work with an ankle boot cow cowboy style boot with maybe those straight leg cropped jeans. So just all the little cowboy details in the boots just to make it a little bit different, a little bit interesting, but definitely a fun trend and I'm all in. I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, so I can't even believe I'm saying this after we have put this on the don't wear list for a while now, but my mom's gonna be so happy because she <laughs> just loves these so much and that is ballerina flats. Yes, ladies, ballerina flats with their little classic rounded toe are back. So hopefully when they were out of style and out of trend, you didn't like get rid of all of them. If you packed them away, good for you. Bring them back because they are definitely on trend and we're seeing lots of beautiful colors and designs with very like simple ballerina flats. Some have maybe like a little tiny bow at the top, more of like a traditional ballet type of fit to them. We're even seeing some that have some straps around like the ankle, which can be really cute. I remember really loving that trend just a couple years back. So these are back with a vengeance. So if you've been waiting for your rounded toe, 
this is your time. Yes, and I will tell you, I'm one of those people. I'm so happy because <laughs> I have some ballerina flats that I tucked away into the back of my closet, hoping that they would come back around. And you know what? That's the great thing about fashion is you can always rely on it. Trends will go out and they will yes. come in. So when you have a good investment that you've made and unfortunately the trend goes out, don't throw it away. Hold on to them, put it, tuck them into the back because they will come back around. So this is one I'm going to get a lot of use out of. Another style of shoe that we are seeing that's going to be hot this season are moto boots or like combat boots. And it's so funny because just the other day we got a comment from a viewer and she asked, I'm from Michigan, but I'm in my 50s. Is it okay for me to wear combat boots? And the answer is a resounding yes. Yes. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> you absolutely can wear combat boots. They are appropriate for our age and they are so stinking cute. You can definitely style them up, wear them all that you want because they are hot on trend and they are super stylish. Yes, and this is one that I tend to see on other people, a lot of influencers, and I always love it. I always think it looks so cute, but I've really never been able to pull this one off. I think it's something about like the, the black color and the leather and it just doesn't really fit my style. However, I have recently discovered a really cute like neutral tan pair of combat boots that I am loving. So I'm so excited to try it this season. I think it's a really fun trend and it's one that some of you might already own or if you don't, you wanna dip your toe into it. We've got some really budget friendly ones coming. So definitely a fun way to try the trend and definitely something that'll be really cute with those chunky sweaters. So the next fall trend that we saw coming down at those runway shows were metallics. Now this is every kind of shoe really that you can think of, all these different trends we talked about. So that could be a metallic ballerina flat, that could be a metallic loafer or a clog, or even a strappy sandal, a high heel, even a combat boot. And this was done in so many different ways, but they were all these metallic silvers and golds and coppery colors, even some things that were actually like colored metallics. So think about like a, a shimmery pink or a shimmery purple or blue. So for me, I would definitely say I like like a gold metallic strappy heel once in a while, especially around the holidays. I think it's beautiful, pairs really nicely with like classic black or maybe a silver ballet flat can be really cute. I mean, there's definitely some ways that you can work this in to a more classic wardrobe. So I'm open to it. I don't think I'm going to be really embracing like the metallic pinks and purples and, oh, really? and all of that. I'm going to go for the fuchsia combat boot when I'm going green. <laughs> Grocery shopping, ladies. If you find me there, say hi. Cause I'm gonna be in crazy town. Um, but yeah, no. For this particular trend, I do like a good high-heeled metallic shoe for the holiday parties. I think that that can be very festive. However, for just typical everyday wear, I don't really see myself buying a lot of metallic, but that's okay. You know, if you're able to find like a really cute ballerina shoe or or a loafer or something like that, and it fits into your style and you are loving it, then you're gonna love this trend. For me, probably just for the holidays, but you know, this is another one, a hot one that we had to share with you. All right, so this next trend, yeah, I'm kind of, <laughs> listen, we're just sharing the trends with you, so just be open, ladies. Okay, so this next one is platform Mary Janes or in general, platform heels. So I will tell you, when I look at these platform Mary Jane shoes, it reminds me almost of someone who's really into like Japanese anime type of, you know, <laughs> things and, you know, likes to do a little bit of cosplay or something like that would really, I think, enjoy this particular type of shoe. It's very, I think, childlike when I when I look at them. Um, however, the platform heels, I can kind of be on, you know, on board with a little bit if I maybe feel like I'm not gonna break my neck wearing them. I don't know, I have a bad ankle. So for both of these, I don't know, I'm not really like loving this trend, but it is gonna be hot for, you know, this autumn season. So just wanted to share it with you. I don't know, what are you thinking about this oh, particular goodness. trend? Yeah, I am not a fan. Well, I will tell you that the platform Mary Janes give me like major middle school girl vibes because I think both of my daughters had those. They ordered them like off of Amazon and they were wearing them and I was not a fan. I was making fun of it. Like, what is that? It's horrible. So to see it now on runways, I'm like, oh, I guess they were ahead of the, the fashion there. And then you've got the whole opposite end, which is these platform like high heels, which gives me like 
stripper vibes, yeah, yeah. stripper shoe vibes. So I'm really not a fan of either of these looks. I just feel like they look very costumey. I, I, do you know what I think? I think with the platform heel, it depends on how high the platform is. Yes. If you've got a platform that's like a good five inches, yeah, that's, no. a, that's a hard pass. But if it's got like a slight platform yeah. to it, you know, it, it, add it, a little it might, comfort right, to it a might, heel. right, it might work. So yeah, let us know. We, you know, yeah, but leave I, us a comment. Don't, Are you going to try the Mary Jane? Yeah, don't expect us to have like a bunch of these <laughs> to share with you in our, in our comfortable shoe video because I am just not <laughs> expecting to find a lot. So good news, if you are not feeling the platform Mary Janes or the platform high heels, but you want a little bit of extra height, they also have another great option, which is the lug sole loafers. So this lug sole loafer, some of these do have like a little bit of a platform. They're definitely like a chunkier shoe. You can get them with a little bit of height, but they are so cute and easy and wearable. We're seeing these in everything from traditional like black leather to tans to creams or even some colorful ones. Some of them have black chunky lug soles. Others have a lug sole that matches the color of the shoe, which I really love. So I recently tried a pair of these in like a cream color and I didn't keep them because the color was a little too soft, but I love the style and I'm really excited to try some more because I really felt like they looked so good with a very classic casual outfit, but a way to give them like a little bit of a trendy vibe. And I think that's the reason why I love them so much because I tend to have more of a classic kind of style. So when I'm able to have a classic, especially like shoe style with a little modern twist, I feel like it just elevates my entire outfit. So this one, even though it has that lug sole or sometimes they're calling it a platform to the loafer, just because it's a lower um, profile type of shoe, it's not a big heel. There's maybe like a tiny little step up in the heel. It really just adds some um, comfort to it and also a little bit of trend to a great classic shoe. Another style of shoe that we are seeing hot for this autumn are over the knee boots or mid thigh boots. So we saw those like over the knee boots in the past. Those are coming back in strong along with these higher length boots. So it kind of makes a little bit of sense. A lot of the pictures that we saw on the runway were using these micro mini style skirts, which when you have that mid thigh high boot, it is only showing just maybe a tiny sliver of skin. So that could potentially be why they're actually, you know, lengthening the height of these boots. I will tell you for myself, this is a trend that I'm for sure gonna pass on, regardless of the fact that we live in Florida and it's really just not practical for our weather. These, this type of boot is just not practical for my lifestyle, so. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I wouldn't say that no one over 40 can wear these because I'm sure there is a way, especially with the over the knee, maybe with like a nice jean and a sweater or something. I'm sure somebody will style them and do a beautiful job, but it's a little bit of an area where it gets a little bit tricky because it can definitely fall into a little bit like too sexy, too a little too much for a lot of people. So it's one of those trends that you really have to be careful mm -hmm. with it. I don't wanna say it's a complete no, and I think some people could pull it off. Probably a no for me for the same reason reasons. Number one, it's like a hundred degrees here. And number two, I just don't really see this working for my style. So yeah, this is going to be a pass for me. So if you just caught our most wearable trends video, then you heard us talk about this next one, which is sneakers, specifically these retro style sneakers, which is just an absolute favorite shoe trend of mine. So we are seeing this more like retro type of sneaker. It has a little bit of a design that definitely gives us like a little bit of that 70s and 80s vibe to it. Court sneakers are still on trend. They're definitely classic, but this is kind of like a new take on the sneaker. We're seeing these in lots of colors, lots of neutrals, and they're just really, really cute. They're comfortable, very wearable trend. They pair with so many different things from your dresses and skirts to your blue jeans to your shorts. So this is one of my personal favorites and something that I feel like, thank you, Runway. Thank you for giving us ladies something that we can actually wear. Yeah, this one is so cute and it's also so easy to wear. I mean, sneakers are 
super comfortable. I think that's the reason why we tend to see a lot of women in our age group just wearing sneakers. You know, I think that there are some women who try to incorporate maybe more of a gym sneaker in their outfits. So if you're one of those people, try definitely this retro style sneaker. It will look more current on trend. It also gives a much sleeker look than a bulky gym sneaker. Um, so this is one that we are personally loving and we're of course gonna be sharing some with you in an upcoming video. Okay, ladies, so we know you're gonna be asking us for links, and here's the thing. We are currently researching, we are shopping, we are buying, we are ordering, we are finding all the great fall shoes for you, and that video will be coming to you very soon. So I promise you, we will have all the links soon, but this is just to get you started, just to give you a little inspiration, and make sure you return and you don't miss out on anything new, because we'll be coming at you soon with some more shoes.